Okay. Uh, one of the first questions I want to ask, ask, answer here is why you all done? And uh, what, why can't you find it on the map? And, uh, along with that is what, what can you find on the map? <laughs> and it turns out that uh, it, was, it was quite a chore here trying to locate Joseph. Now I'm going to talk about back in uh, 1960s and 1970s, just long before the, uh, the internet. <laughs> and uh, it turns out that I really had to go to the year to find to resolve uh, the uncertainties and say, my God, here it is, uh, here it is the other one. Yeah. Then I'm going to talk about some of the, some of the people that I found when I, when I, when I got there. A little bit of what they didn't find up with their present situation. Okay, oh, oh, why, why did interest? Well, my interest was the following is uh, I went to my mother's father, my, my father's mother both came from there. And there's an awful lot of, uh, of the uh, pioneers in the North Dakota and the North vicinity that came. And of course, like I say, you can't find the, uh, can't seem to find it on the map. And uh, where its location is has been a mystery all my life, and no one else uh, that I could talk to could tell you where it was. And the reason for that, of course, like the deliverance of the new right off the bat was that there were boundary changes after World War I. And it turns out that in addition to that, you know, there's a uh, well, the villages are named in different languages <coughs> over the ages, and the boundaries change. And some of them had uh, colloquial names, and Joseph Alden is an example of one of them. So you not find him, oh, you'll find one my name at that has the word Joseph Alden, but Joseph Alden is a colloquial expression. Now, there's about 20% uh, of the people, I think, uh, that are, are from in, in that. Uh, and those that are settled in there in North Dakota are north of Joseph Fallon. And there's a, there's a bunch from St. John, which is sort of another town, another village, village of 